President Obama back to the White House this morning after vacationing in Hawaii. And priority one will be figuring out how a would-be bomber boarded a plane over Christmas and what needs to change. CBS News senior White House correspondent Bill Plant is live at the White House with more. Good morning, Bill. Good morning to you, Maggie. You know, the events of these past 11 days prove the point that a president, no matter where he is, is never really on vacation. The Obamas left Hawaii early this morning, just about the time things were finally getting back to normal at one of the busiest U.S. airports. An entire terminal of holiday travelers at New Jersey's Newark Liberty International had to be re-screened after someone entered the gate area through an exit. The whole process took six hours. We were on the plane, we were actually seated, and we were on it for like 10 minutes, and he said, oh, you have to get off now. Starting today, international passengers flying to the U.S. face new scrutiny. All right, I need you to step inside the machine right here on the yellow footprint swing, please. Sure. All passengers originating from 14 countries, among them Nigeria, Pakistan, Somalia, and Yemen, will face more intensive screening techniques, including pat-downs and hand checks of all carry-on luggage. And tomorrow, President Obama meets with security advisors to discuss what additional steps need to be taken to tighten security. A cold reality that overshadowed the first family's Hawaiian vacation. Hey guys, hey. how you doing? We're ready. Are you ready? No, no. Okay, let's stay. I'm with you. Okay, we all in. I'm trying to mount a coup here. One question which has all of Washington wondering, and which the president will have to grapple with when he returns later today, is: Will any heads roll? for the failure to connect the dots and the intelligence surrounding the attempted Christmas Day bombing of that plane in Detroit. Harry? All right, Bill Plant, thanks so much.